Hey guys, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game that I've been wanting for so long called Thrash and Roll. Thrash and Roll is a two to four player game where players are using dice as workers essentially to go to these locations on the board to record singles, record albums, promote said singles or said albums, go on tour with a famous band from Poland, or go recruit some fans or supporters to help you out. It's rich in theme. It's one of my favorite themes because I've been in bands forever. And enough talking about it, let's go to the table and see just how awesome that it is. All right, so here's a game of thrash and roll, all set up, except for one thing, set up for a two-player game. To set up, you're going to give each player three support cards, which are going to look like this. I'll go into detail what these do when we use them. Each player is going to have their hardware on three, or on one, their experience on one. They're going to get six dice. They're going to get some album and some single markers. They're going to get four cubes and they will put their scoring marker on zero. The round marker will go on round one. In a two player game, we're gonna play through round six. There will be turbo tokens in the center, two neutral dice, and in a two player game, one person can go to the radio per turn. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do for setup, the final thing is we're gonna roll one of these dice and we're gonna to get to put skill tokens, which look like these, little music note tokens, on our instruments. If you can look at the board, I'll show you a little close up of the board here. If you look at the board, you can see that the, what is this? The brown guitar, which I think is the bass, according to the picture, the bass guitar has a die value of one. Then you're gonna go down. And you're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to put skill tokens on these guys to make them worth m the most points at the end of the game. Whoever has the most tokens on each musician at the end of the game is gonna score 20 points. So that's what we're gonna start here. So we'll start with Rusted Brain, we'll roll. So we got a six. There's no six on the board, so that means we can put a token on anybody that we want. So let's see, I'm gonna start working on my singer. So there we go to my singer. Next one, we had a five. So we will go to the drummer. And then the third roll, we have the five, we got another drummer. All right, so I'm loaded up on singing and drumming. The, this player, red player, they have Soul Collector as their band. They're gonna roll. They have a five, which is the drummer. So we're right now already competing for drummer, best drummer. They have another five. I know these dice roll more than five. I've used them in a game. Let's see, uh, and a two. All right, so a two is the Flying V guitar. I don't know which one's rhythm and which one's uh, lead, but since it's a Flying V, we'll assume he's the lead guitar player. All right. So that's set up. Now, let me walk you through the game really quickly on how the base, basics of the game work. This game is a dice placement game. On a turn, you're gonna take dice in values of either of a kind, so like all sixes, or a straight. So one, whoa, I keep knocking everything over. I'm terrible at that. One, two, three, or one, two, whatever. And you're gonna take those to one of the locations on the board. So let me go over the location. So right here, is the Metalhead Club. You can't see it great on here, but the Metalhead Club. When you go to th this location, you're gonna get a fan card, which I'll explain what they do in a little bit. And this is how you're gonna get to get more support cards. Support cards are really helpful in the game, as you'll see when we start playing. Um, let's see, this is the Rock Academy. So you go here, depending on the amount of dice you'll place, you can either get a pile of fan cards or you can up your experience. Both are good. So we may work on both. Um, the Broken Bone, this is where you're gonna go, you'll get a fan card. You can go here, depending on the number of dice, you're gonna score some points based on how good your equipment is. It's your experience plus double what your equipment is. So the better equipment you have, the more points you're gonna get here. Thrash them all, you're gonna go here to up your um, hardware. That's the blue track right here with the little guitar on it. And you're gonna get a fan card. Over here at the Metal Mine, this is where you're gonna record singles and albums. It takes two dice to record a single, three dice to record an album, and you're also gonna get to up your hardware. Over here is the Venom's Nest. This is another place where you can go and perform. 
get a pile of points and it's also going to up the the value of your single so if you're charting at number 10 it could knock you up to a number seven seven on the charts or same with an album and the radio this is where you're going to go to get some points based on a single or an album and to get rid of scandal cards and I'll also go into those as we're playing all right so first thing we're going to do on the beginning of the game is each player is going to roll their dice so we'll go ahead and do that real quick all right oops i forgot to roll that one good job it's a two anyway all right, so they got a lot of twos and threes, which is kind of good because the value of the dice mean nothing really in this. Oh, I forgot one space, Turbo. That's where you're gonna go with five dice and it's gonna let you go on tour with Turbo and score a pile of points. So we may not get to that in this run through, but just know if you go there, it's going to do some awesome things. All right, so green is the first player because they have the first player token, which is this guy rocking out. And let's see. So what they're going to do is they have to take some of their dice and place them in a spot. You have to use one die. All right. So let me explain what some how these guys work. This is a support card. If you look in the top, whatever hand that is, uh, right, you'll see some symbols of places on the board. If you look in the top left, you'll see a die value. If I use this guy in any of these three locations, so at Turbo, Metal Mind, or the Radio, it, it's going to count as a five and it's going to give me this bonus if I do it at turbo which is the top bonus I'm also going to get this bonus so basically I could go to record an album a single with one five die use this card he give me another five and it'd be like I placed two fives but I only had to place one so these cards are very valuable and that's essentially how they work so yeah, we don't want to lose sight of those. They're super awesome. So let's see here. Do I have any guys that are good for me? Not really right now. So I am just going to go. I'm going to go to uh, the Rock Academy with two twos. So when I go there, I get to take a fan card. So fan cards do a couple different things. Let's just see what they look like. Every fan card has different art. Um, the way these work is you can discard one. To re roll a die at any time. You can discard a number of them to get a virtual die, kind of like these support cards. So, say I wanted to do a third die here, I could discard three of these with different instruments down at the bottom. So, you see, this is for the singer. If I had a singer, drummer, and then the bass player, I could discard three of these and I could use a three die with any value that I want. So, I'd say, hey, I want a three, a third dice that's a two. And then they would get discarded. Any that have turbo tokens, we'll take the turbo tokens and put them on the turbo space and they're gonna add value to when you go on tour with Turbo. So that's how the fans work. So for now, we'll just let that hang out there because I don't need to use it yet. And now because I put two dice, I get up my inf experience by one. So now my experience is up by one. All right, and that was my turn. So now it's red turn. They have uh, two runs of threes, so that's pretty nice. Let's see, what do they wanna do? They're gonna start upgrading their hardware so let's see what they got. Oh, right. They're going to use this guy. This guy is a support card. He doesn't have any locations that he works, so he works at all locations. So, and when he goes, when you use him, he's going to give you a bonus to your rhythm guitar player. So I'm going to use him as a three. I'm going to use these three threes right here. I'm going to go to, where did I say? I was, oh, yeah, the hardware place. I'm going to go right here with four threes. I get a fan card. So I get this fan card. And then, slide that down a little. And then I get to put a token on my red guitar player. This is technically done at the end, but it's not gonna affect anything that I'm doing. And with four dice, I get to up my hardware by three. So one, two, three. And that's important, and I'll explain that at the end of the round. And then this card is discarded. When you use a support card, you have to mark it on your board. You can use two support cards in the game each round and you can use two scandal cards. So that's what these are for. These two, these little areas up here. So as you can see, I marked one. So I'll use a scandal card later just so you can see how that works as well. So back to green. Let's see, what do I want to do now? I want, and once you go to a place once, you can't go there anymore. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to the Metalhead Club with a three. No, that's terrible. No, that's fine. Yeah, I'll go here with a three. I get a fan card. There's another fan. He's for my lead guitar player. 
and then I can draw one support card from the top. So I'll do that. That's the main way you get support cards and I got the music teacher. He's gonna help me out at the Rock Academy and all these other locations if you could not see the glare. Damn. There you go, right there. All right, so I'll put him down here where you guys can't see off camera, but no, he's there. And that was that turn. And then it's back to red. They have two more dice, or three more dice. What do they want to do? They are going to go to the Metalhead Club as well because they have a guy there. So they're going to play this guy. He works at the Metalhead Club. Well, any of these clubs, actually. He's a little different. He counts as the same number of a die that you're already placing. So they're going to place this two. They're going to use this guy for a two at the Metalhead Club. So they get a fan card. They get this guy holding a cute little bunny or dog or something and then that's for the bass player and then this guy's gonna get a token onto the flying V a lead guitar and then it's out so they've used their second support guy and then they played two dice so they get to draw either one from here or one from face up and let's see none of the face up guys look great so they're gonna go with this guy so they got Radio and Metalhead Club. All right. So that's that. That is back to the green player. Let's see. I don't really know what I want to do here. So I am actually going to... I'm going to make a single. So I'm going to go here with this guy. Because he works at the Metal Mind Studios. You can see the arrow or the album at the top. And he's going to be a number five. So I'm going to play a five. Play a five here with this guy. So that's considered two dice. For going there, I get up my hardware. Now I'm gonna do an out, uh, single. So what the single is, it's gonna count, it's, it's gonna come out of the charts at my experience level. My experience level is one. So I'm gonna take one of these discs, put it on number 10, because if you look under the number 10, it says, shows a one. And then I'm gonna get two fame, which are points. So I get two points. All right, and then this card is gonna give me some bonuses. It's going to up my hardware by one, and it's going to let me place a token on my Flying V. And I have to mark that I use that guy, so I get up my hardware by one, and I get to place a token on my Flying V. All right, so now it's back to red. Let's see here. They have two twos. Okay, I need to get on the charts two. Their experience is still at one. Yeah, let's do that. That'll show you something else. All right, so they're going to go record a single as well. They don't have any guys that can help them record a single, so they're going to go here with their two dice. And then they're going to up their hardware by one. And then they're going to record a single. So their experience is at one, so they're going to chart at number 10. But because I'm there, we're going to have a hit war. So let me explain how a hit war works. So there's two options for a hit war. The person who initiates it can take a scandal card and automatically win, or we can have a roll off, and whoever rolls the highest stays on that spot, and, and in this case, the other person will be booted off the charts. So let's see, um, they're not gonna roll, they're gonna take a scandal, so I can go over some of that. So they're gonna take a scandal, they automatically win, so I just got booted off after all that work that I just did. So they're taking a scandal, let me show you this. So here's a scandal card, you can see it has the flying V guitar down at the bottom. What this does is if I can't get rid of this by the end of the game, I'm gonna lose points based on however many tokens I have in my flying V. And as you can see, I have two right now. So this was not a good one to draw. There's multiples of all the instruments in here. So yeah, we definitely wanna get rid of that if we can. So that was a hit war, they won, now they're done. So let's see, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go play a concert. So I'm gonna go here with my two fives. Yep. Uh, yep, I don't have a guy that can do anything. So I'm gonna go there, take a fan card. I have a fan limit of three, as you can see on this board right here. Well, let me show you on this one, maybe you can see that better. A three, no, nope, you can't see that one at all. So three, once you get to a certain level of experience, you can have four, then it'll go up to five. You're gonna max out at seven though. So just keep that in mind. And I'm maxed out at my fan level right now. So going here with two dice, I get points equal to experience plus hardware times two. So my experience is at one, my hardware is at two, so that's four, so I get five points. So green is getting five points. 
All right, and that is the end of a round. So at the end of the round, you're gonna do a couple additional things. You are going to score one point for every recorded album, which we don't have. In a two-player game, whoever has the best single is gonna get three points. In this case, Reds has the only single, so they're gonna get three points. Then, if your experience is greater than your hardware, you have to draw a scandal. So that's where hardware comes in handy. As you can see right now, green player is at a one experience and a hardware of two, so they're good, no scandal. This one, same thing. They're at an experience level of one, hardware of three, good to go, no scandal. If it's le if the experience is higher than the hardware, they throw a hissy fit, have to take a scandal card and possibly lose points. Then, you can discard fans with the same icon and you can move up that instrument, add one skill token to an instrument. So green player has three different instruments, so they cannot do it. Red player has two different, they cannot do it, so nobody's doing that. All right, so that's the end of the round. First player passes over here. And then we will move the marker and we'll play through another round for you. Maybe we can get an album or turbo. Let's see if we can get all some cool stuff happening. All right. All right, so let's see. Red's got a pile of fours and a five, you know, and two twos. All right, and green has a pile of fours, two threes, and a six. All right, so red's first this round. Oh, and you also get to take the cubes off of the support guys that you use so you can know that you can use them again. All right, so red, now that they have an album, they want to start upping their experience so they can start working on, or now that they have a single, they want to up their experience so they can start working on an album. So they're going to go here with three dice. Can they do that? Yes, they can. So they will go, I'm going to show you something else you can do. They're going to go here with two twos, and they're going to take a scandal card. You can always take a scandal card to add a die of any value, a virtual die of any value to where you're going. So they're going to do that. It's going to be a three, and they got a scandal for their drummer, as you can see right there. All right, so they now have two scandals they gotta figure out a way to get rid of by the end of the game. All right, so they get a fan card. Now they're maxed out at their limit of fan cards, but they have two bass players, so that's good. That is good. All right, and then let's see. They're going to get to up their experience by one. Or no, three dice up their experience by two. So they're gonna go bump, bump. Now their experience is at a level two, which is good. And their hardware is at a level three, so they're good to go. All right. Then it's green player's turn. They want to try to get back on the charts again, so they need to up their experience as well. So they are going to use this music teacher. He gives them a four at the academy. So they're going to go there with three, with two green dice that are fours and this four. So that's going to give them three dice. They can't take any more fan cards, so they're not going to draw. Uh, I'm, actually, I think you might get a draw and then discard, so I'll just do that. I'll do this and then discard this fan card. So now I have two electric uh, flying V guitars. That's cool. So I went there with three dice. I get to up my experience by two. One, two. Now I have four fan limit. All right. And because I use this guy, I get to add a token to my rhythm guitar player, also known as the red guitar player. And I get to add a token to anybody else that I want. And I'm going to... Start working on my bass player. All right, and then this is done. I use the guy, so I gotta mark it and discard it. All right, so that was green player's turn. Back to red. Uh, let's see. What do they wanna do? I think they wanna go rock out at the broken bone. No, let's go to the Venom's Nest. They're gonna go to the Venom's Nest. So that takes three dice. They don't have any characters that will help. So they're gonna go here with their three fours. When you go there, you get to draw a support card. So you got a music teacher. He helps out at the radio and some other places. Okay, and then when you go there, you get points, which is hardware plus experience times two. So hardware is three, experience is two. So they get seven points for red. Two, seven. All right. And then I can't see. It's hard to see. Plus they can move a single or an album up too. They don't have an album, so they'll bump their single up to the number eight spot. Top in the charts at number eight, oh yeah. Back to green. So green is, they need to get back on the charts. So they're gonna do that. They're gonna go record an album. I don't have any people that will help me with the numbers that I have. Yes, I do. I'll use this guy. He helps there. I'm not gonna get 
the main bonus on the on the right, but I will get this bonus. So he's going to help me recording. I'm going to use him as a five. I'll go there with a a four. So a four and a five, I get up my hardware by one. Then I'm going to record a single. It's my level of my experience. My experience is at two. So I'm going to drop that right here. No hit war because they're at space seven or eight. I'm at space nine. And then I get two points. So green gets two points. All right. That was that. And because I use this guy, I have to mark it. I can't use any more support. And I only get to upgrade the skill of my lead guitar player. And done. All right. Back to red, they have one die. So what would they like to do here? What would they like to do? Let's see, I think they want to, they're gonna to go to the radio. So I can show you how that works. So they're going with the radio with this guy. He helps at the radio. He's a number five. They have a five. At the radio, you have to use at least two dice and you'll move this down to show that you used it. When you go there with two dice, you get fame equal to the number of fans in hand. They have three fans, so they'll get three points. One, two, three. All right. And then they get to move any single two steps. Boom, boom. And they get a discard one scandal card. So they're going to look through these scandal cards, find that flying V1, which is this one right there. Discard that. Good. Now they have one less to have to worry about. And that's it. So... Yeah, so they went to the radio, they talked bad about us, about Rusted Brain, and they upped their single for promotion. All right, so let's see. I wonder if we can do an album just to see how that works. Um, so album would be two, four, ooh, I need to roll a six. Yeah, I don't really wanna do that. Oh no, two, four, six. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. So I'm not going to do that. No album yet. So instead, I will... Anywhere I can go to upgrade my experience. Yes, I can go to the Broken Bone, which I will do. For Nope, but I need to have three dice. Dang it. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Fine. I will go to... I'll go to, dang, all right, yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna take a scandal card to add a third three. So I'm gonna have a scandal for my red guitar player. So we'll put that there. And then I get a fan card. My level is now four, so I can have four fan cards. And then I get, with three dice, I get points equal to experience plus double hardware. So two plus four, that's six six plus I get to up my experience by one and then I get a fan card so now I have to discard off another fan card so I'm gonna discard this one all right so now I have four for my flying V which is nice because I can get some extra skill tokens all right then it's back to red they don't have any more dice so they're done I have one left a six let's see let's see here Anywhere I can go with one die. Yeah, it's not pretty. Oh, and I took a scandal, so I gotta go here. They took a scandal too earlier. So I'm gonna move this six over here to the Metalhead Club. I'm gonna take one of these. And there's the guy I got right there. And then I get a fan card. I'll discard him because I don't need him. And then that's it, I'm done. All right, so that's the end of the round. So at the end of this round, we're gonna do the same thing we did at the end of the last round. We are going to score one point for each album, of which neither of us have any. And then we're going to score three points for the best album. So red gets another three points. One, two, three. And then we're going to score uh, experiences greater than hardware. So green, unfortunately, their experience is at three, their hardware is at two, so they have to take a scandal. So they got this dude in his slippers making pancakes. Yikes, four, and it is for the red guitar. All right, they're good. And then they can discard fan cards to have some skill. So they're gonna discard two of the bass guitar cards. That's also gonna put three tokens on turbo, so they'll do that. So three tokens on turbo. And their skill goes up on bass. 
and then I'm going to do four flying V's. That's going to let me put two tokens on the flying V and two turbo tokens in on the turbo space. So two tokens on the flying V. And that is it. Then it will come back over here to this player. will be first player, round three. Take our dice back and we will keep going like this. So basically the only thing I didn't show you is how to do an album, which is essentially the same way you're kind of doing a, a single, except it takes into account experience plus hardware, plus your single value, plus a random roll of the die. You need to get a 10 and all that to even chart. If you get less than 10, you're not, you're just going to waste your turn and you're not going to hit, you'll be at number 11 or whatever. And with turbo, um, the way turbo works is you'll put five dice up there and then you're going to add up, you get points based on your hardware plus double your experience plus a die roll, uh, plus any turbo tokens that are here. So in this case, it would be five turbo tokens. Then it's going to give you some fans. It's going to up some singles, some experience. It's going to give you a pile of stuff. So yeah, that is a quick overview of how thrash and roll works. Let's go up to the top, see what we think about it. All right, so that was thrash and roll. Again, it was a quick overview. I probably missed some stuff, but I just wanted to show you this game because spoiler, I love it. So this game, the main reason that I wanted to get this game is I've been playing in band since I was probably 16 years old, so 20 years. And this game is about that. It's about being in a band, recording singles, recording albums, going on the radio, promoting albums, trying to get fans to follow you, trying to get supporters to come help you out like the music teacher or the sound guy. It's rich in theme. It, I, I'm not even a theme guy, but this theme really drew me in and I love it. Um, then we played it and the gameplay is amazing. It's, it's a dice work replacement game, but the dice values don't matter. Most of the time when you're playing games like this, like Kingsport or Kingsburg or something like that, you get some ones, you're going to get hosed with some of the low value guys. But in this, you just have to have of a kind or a straight and you can pretty much do whatever you want, especially if you have supporters or you take fans or scandals, possibilities are endless. The strategy comes in as to, do I want to take a scandal card here? Do I want to cash in two fans or three fans to get that third die? Do I want to use my supporter here instead of using him at the location where I can get the special ability? It's rich, rich in choices and decisions. And I love it. So before I go any farther, BGM accepted. Big thumb, way up. I love this game. It's incredible. I'm so glad I finally found a copy and now I have one. So another thing I like, the board, it's not all drab and brown, which I'm a fan of. I like brown and I like drab Euro game boards. As you could hear on the podcast when we talk about brass or we talk about London, I'm fine with that. But it's nice to see a Euro game that actually has some color. They're not afraid to use reds and greens and blues and has some interesting art. And I also like how every band is different. There's four player boards. Each side of the player board is a different band. And I think they're real bands from Poland maybe because it came with a CD that has the same bands on it and some songs. So I haven't checked that out yet, but I will because I'm a fan of heavy metal and thrash. So that's cool as well. So yeah, this is probably my favorite dice placement game. I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. I like it better than Kingsport. I like it better than Kingsburg. I like it better than most of the games where you roll some dice and place them on the board. It doesn't really do anything groundbreaking except for the supporter cards and the fans and the scandal and just juggling all that. It's a little heavier than some of the other games and I think that's maybe why I like it. So that's enough talking about it. Again, big time accepted. One of my favorite games that I've played in 2018 by far and that is Thrash and Roll and keep gaming.